When the Jews came out of Egypt, they came to Mount Sinai. And it says that on the first day of the third month, they came to the desert of Sinai. Vayichan sham Yisrael neged ahar. And Israel camped across from the mountain. In the Hebrew, the word they camped is written in the singular. So typically Rashi is going to comment on something like this because we would expect it to be written in the plural. And he says uh, a very, very famous expression is a camp there, ki'ishachad belevechad, like one person with one heart. And that's the reason it's written in the singular. Because they were like one person with one heart. So this is a beautiful idea of the unity of the people. And in fact, the sages explain that this unity was actually a prerequisite for receiving the Torah. That if the Jewish people weren't on a level of unity, they would have not have been fitting vessels to receive the Torah. But the question I'd like to propose is, how did they come to Mount Sinai like one person with one heart? Nothing happens in a vacuum. What happened preceding that that led them uh, or set the stage that they could actually be like one person with one heart? And we can answer in two ways. When they first came out of Egypt, they came to the, the Reed Sea. And God made a great miracle. And uh, they crossed to the sea. The sea split. And the Egyptians were drowned. And when they saw this, and they realized they are really free now. And this was the climax of 10 plagues, all of the miracles. They burst out in song. The Song of the Sea is one of the 10 archetypal songs sung throughout history. But it's one of the few that the whole nation sang together. So you can imagine the, the, the power of the moment to have all of the people expressing their, their joy and their thanksgiving and their praise of God all at the same time. So we can understand that this was already an experience of being like one person with one heart. Then they went a couple of weeks and they had no water and then they had no food and they, they had a little bit of a hard time. And then when they, their doubts were like, well, what are we doing in this desert? Like, did we make the right decision? And the Torah records that the people said, is God among us or not? And then immediately it says that the nation of Amalek came and fought with Israel. And uh, Moshe chose Yoshua, Joshua, to lead the people. And we were victorious in the war. But to win a war like this against our uh, our uh, typal enemy also means that at a time of war, people come together. And this is well known in Israel that despite the uh, wonderful country that we have, um, we're not lacking with disagreements. And yet, when it comes to a time of crisis, a time of war, and unfortunately, Israel's fought many, many wars in the last 60 years. The people come together in such an incredible way and were able to defeat enemies so much more numerous than us and greater than us. So here we see there's two examples of how before they came to Mount Sinai, the people were like one person with one heart. But we see a little bit of an irony here. One, the first time they came together was through joy and praising God. And the second time was through crisis and war. All of the teachings in the Torah are eternal and archetypal. And it seems that we're being taught here that there's two ways that we can come together as a, as, as a people. Either through uh, 
a sense of joy and thanksgiving and praising God and, and understanding the goodness that we have, or when our backs are against the wall and we, we have to come together. So it would obviously uh, be better if we could learn as, as a people to come together uh, out of our own free will, out of our own uh, initiative, than to be forced into it. And ultimately, we're told that when the Mashiach comes, so all of the people will come together. And when we look at the state of the world now, we understand how much we really need this. So we should be blessed to first see among the Jewish people a sense of unity that brings us together, and hopefully that will make us fitting vessels for the Messianic age, where ultimately all peoples will come together like one person with one heart.